Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It looks so much better. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Honey, we're not like the other. No reason to be. Oh, Paris gets hugs. Uh -huh. Mommy hugs. Belly rub. Hug Paris. Oh, Aww. cute. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. So we are up and ready, and we are gonna finish that chicken coop. If it's the last thing we do today, I actually don't know if we're gonna finish, <laughs> but we've been trying to finish for the last three days. <laughs> And I feel like we can't get there, but hoping today we can. I'm gonna go start on the red coat of paint. And then once Junie's down for her nap, we're gonna do the rest of the fencing and then maybe get some chickens in there. Fingers crossed that we can have some chickens before the party. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we're gonna try. All right, so here's where we left off yesterday, just with the primer. I have got the red paint all mixed and ready to go. Let's put some red on here. So we're gonna do red on the big parts. We're thinking of maybe leaving the doors white. I don't know, we'll see how it looks once we have the first coat of red. And then the trim all white. So really typical barn style for the coop. And then I think eventually all this raw wood we're gonna stain, but haven't decided yet. We'll see. Painting with red is like the most satisfying color I've ever painted with. <laughs> just because it's so bright, I just like, I don't know. It's really fun. I don't know what to say now. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It looks so much better. It looks amazing. I can't wait to reveal it to you guys. So I will definitely have the painting done today. Not sure if the fencing's gonna get done today. Oh, it's gonna get done. Corbin says it's gonna get done. Uh, there's a couple things we still want to do before it's officially done. Like we want to add like a base layer, like some wood chips. We want to do like some wood stain on the rest of the wood that we're not painting. And um, what? Fish. Fish. <laughs> and we want to add some white trim two parts of the coop but we'll still do the reveal of like how far it's gonna get uh, before the birthday party and then we'll be working on the still working on it a little bit after that but it looks so good what are you doing out here Junie? did you get your water table oh my goodness it's your favorite thing you're getting soaked out here huh yeah. Fancy. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. You definitely are a water baby, aren't you? Oh, cool. It's Cool. And then we've got this one over here. Hi, Paris. Sleepy dog. You've just been soaking up the sun all day, huh? So nice. It is seriously so nice out here though. It's 50 degrees and it's supposed to be another 10 degrees warmer on Juniper's birthday in just a few days. So I think we'll definitely be able to enjoy an indoor outdoor party, which will be really nice. So we'll have more space. It feels literally like it's like 80 degrees. That's like the sun is just like blaring. It's like so warm. I've been soaking it up today. Might have taken a couple naps out here in the sun. I couldn't help it. It just felt so nice and warm and ugh, melting that winter ice off. It's been great. All right, you guys, are you ready for the big reveal? Here is where we got with the chicken coop. I think 
it came out so good. Um, I really like that we did two coats of the red. Red is really hard to paint with. Um, I guess the guy at Home Depot was saying because it has more organic matter and so it soaks into the wood. But the second coat made it look really good, the white trim. And we are gonna do more white trim like along the doors and the edges. But for right now, I think this is gonna have to be it before the party. Um, I also finished the fence over here. So there's one more little section that I need to complete, but I ran out of washers, so not gonna be able to do that today. But I guess it's, I mean, it's almost ready for chickens. I just have to get some wood shavings for the coop and then we can get some chickens in here, you guys. So maybe before the party, I don't know. I'm gonna talk with Kels and see what we wanna do, but we're almost ready. I would say like one more day so we could technically get them tomorrow if we want. So that's super exciting. Whew, that was a lot of work. You need to save me. Look at what I'm doing right now. This is my Monopoly board. I had so many Monopoly tickets, so many that I had to just sit down and I just opened up all of them. I categorized them numerically so that way I didn't have to search for them on the board. Now I just have to stick them on the board, but I need a break. Y'all, this is a time commitment. I really hope we won something, even if it's like the $10 gift card, because I just sat here for the longest time. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm gonna start sticking them, or actually I'm gonna see if Kels wants to stick them. There you go. Good luck. You've got all these to stick on. You better be a winner. <laughs> I know, right? We're so close to winning five thousand dollars. Really? I've seen one. What? That's a good one. That's good. That'd be awesome. I think we're also really close to getting jet skis. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. You're getting down to the end, and I haven't heard you scream out saying we won a million dollars. We definitely didn't. <laughs> we haven't won anything. No, but we're like one away from winning everything. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what happened last year. It is. It's what happens every year. They it's know rigged. how to get you. It's rigged. All right, no million dollar win, but we are like one away from almost everything. We're going to have like jet skis and a family vacation and the $10,000 gift card. Yeah, just wait. We, we just need one more for each thing. <laughs> We never get it though. By the end of this, we never get it. Um, that's gonna be it for today. We, I am exhausted. Kels is exhausted. We worked on that chicken coop all day. Um, tomorrow, I'm hoping to. There's like one tiny little section of fencing I need to do, and then um, I want to put wood chips down, but we need to go pick them up. And I'm pretty sure we're running out of time for the party, so we should probably focus on the party now that the chicken coop looks decent. Um, but that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, leave your comments down below if you guys play the Albertsons Monopoly and if you guys have any tips on a DIY chicken coop or just tips on chickens in general. I grew up on a farm and I had chickens when I was little, but it's been, I mean, I was probably like 10 years old, 10 to 12 years old. So it's been a while. So if you guys have chickens, leave all that advice down below. Um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be your feeder.